King Charles is reportedly still very sick. Following a procedure for an enlarged prostate, King Charles was diagnosed with a form of cancer. The head monarch has been receiving weekly treatments ever since and splits his time between London and Sandringham. Buckingham Palace's initial statement read, During the King's recent hospital procedure for benign prostate enlargement, a separate issue of concern was noted. Subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer. His Majesty has today commenced a schedule of regular treatments, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public-facing duties. Throughout this period, His Majesty will continue to undertake state business and official paperwork as usual. A source told the Daily Mail that King Charles is on good form, but besides that, it is expected that he takes a longer absence from his royal duties. His younger son, Prince Harry, who returned to Britain for a visit with his father shortly after his diagnosis was revealed, was reported to have offered to step in and play a role while his father receives cancer treatment. However, Buckingham Palace aides reportedly said there was 0% chance that Prince Harry could be allowed to be working for the royal family during his father's illness. Although not much regarding Charles's condition has been revealed by the palace, a recent report from the Daily Beast, parroted by TMZ, claimed that the king is in poor health. The magazine reports that despite the few outings that showed His Royal Highness looking fine, the exact state of his condition is different. Given his age and his health condition, it's noted that he is very sick. As soon as this sickness underway, next in line for the throne, William, Prince of Wales, would become king alongside his wife Kate Middleton, who is expected to become queen consort. The new king would address the nation, mirroring Charles's speech on September 9th. And the public would observe a period of national mourning leading up to the king in health care. Just like with the queen, the prime minister would receive notification from the king's private secretary, as would the king's privy council office. Permanent secretaries of government departments would be provided with a script to inform government ministers about the news. At the same time, the cabinet secretary would send an email to senior civil servants, following which flags throughout Whitehall would be lowered to half-mast. The late king will lie in state at the Palace of Westminster for public mourning, and his final resting place is expected to be in the royal vault within the King George VI Memorial Chapel at Windsor Castle. The palace is giving the impression that Charles is on the mend, but he's still very sick, an insider shared with In Touch in a recent interview. Officials will make sure serious sickness for the king meets his wishes and expectations while following proper protocol. We truly hope the king would be able to recover fully. Please share this article with your family and friends.